Hi, I'm Seamless, and today I'm going to show you how to make a stupidly simple FM bass. I've got my default 2.5 preset here, where every operator is set to 0.25. Now I'm going to make the bass. That's actually it, really. Now, what's funny about this bass and why it's stupidly simple is because it's not like after having shown you this, you're thinking, "Oh my God, why are you wasting a tutorial on this?" And like, this is this is an example of something where you need to really kind of think outside of the box for a second. Because for the longest time, I would make I would make bases and I would make I would have I have this process. I have my output operator, which is the one that's going out. In this case, operator one. And then I have a modulation operator. And then I would normally have the modulation operator be the same pitch as the output operator. A little bit different, like slight differences if I wanted to make a reese or something. But that's usually the end of the case. However, this is this actually came out as, a, as an accident of me accidentally uh, operating on the first operator with an operator that's actually an octave higher than it's supposed to be. And it's got this cool bass. <laughs> And then I distorted it to kind of add a little bit of additional funkiness to it. However, if I didn't, if I didn't distort it, it could still. I should actually sound pretty familiar to you from, from pretty old, old school sounding things. And I mean, this is a pretty simple thing. It's just a triangle modulating a sine wave, but the triangle is an octave higher than the sine wave. Now, also, you might have noticed that while I was going up there, if I, if I deviate from the pitch even a little bit, you get some cool modulation. And this is actually how you could turn any FM sound into a Reese immediately by, uh, like you would a Reese, uh, changing the pitch detuning of one of your modulating operators. Which could be kind of fun. An additional thing I like to do with the bases like these, because I'm, this one is, uh, is being modulated at a higher octave, I can modulate it again with a lower octave. And then again, you can do the Reese thing by changing the pitch a little bit. Could be a lot of fun, but this is the primary base, just triangle modulating sine wave. Sometimes I'm modulated by an even higher octave, which in this case would be a ratio one. Lots of coolness. This is a very straightforward thing. It's very kind of simple. But lots of sounds, like 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 with most sound design, you know, it's real difficult if you don't have a lot of experience to to listen to a thing and be like, whoa, what is that? What does that sound? That got, that kind of thing. Like the first time anyone's ever heard the Skrillex bass, Skrillex vocoder bass, and if you didn't know how to use a vocoder, if you'd never heard a vocoder before on a bass anyway, you might not have thought, oh, that's a vocoder. Like if you didn't know how that worked out, then you'd be like, you just have no idea what that is. But after accidentally making this sound, I go, oh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of old school sounds that this is actually made of. So that's really neat now that I know that. Now I know this. So I can listen to things and think, oh, it's actually a neat, a neat sound. Uh, yeah. This one I like because it has, it has sort of interesting neuro connotations. Like if you make, if you kind of throw around even the, the basic one. It has, it feels sort of neuro-y for a moment. And uh, part of the reason why this works the way it does is that I actually don't have the FM all the way up. If I had the FM all the way up, you get that, which also can be fun, but it's not, you know. So 
So li- li- limiting the high point of the FM just by doing it like this is pretty important to get this this sound in particular. I mean, you could also just automate it so that you don't go higher than half or whatever. So in case sometimes you want to go up higher, you can, but that's that's pretty much it. Uh, not much else. There's not much else to the sound. Um, this is more more like sort of a, a PS, PSA to tell you guys to think outside of the box about sorts of things. Like even fundamental fundamentally question even the most basic stuff. Like, okay, well, what if I FM by an octave higher or something like that? Or octave lower, for that matter. I, I don't have what to do an octave lower, but like, you know what? This is what, that's what I mean. Like, if... If you have a you have like a very constant chain for like, okay if I want to make a good bass I have to do this this and that and whatever change the lowest thing because in the stack the the things that happen the earliest at the point of generation have the biggest effect on the output of the, of the sound so like that will more greatly change especially in FM it will more greatly change the sound of everything. Anywho, uh, I'm not gonna put the patch up for this because if you need a patch for this, you need help. I apologize for the vague insult, but come on. It's a, it's a trying a wave, at an octave higher than a sine wave. You could do this in any FM synth at all. You could do this in FM8, you could do this in Toxic, you can do this with anything that has FM that allows you to use different waveforms. Any single thing. You can do this with a Yamaha DX7. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day. So, uh, outro. Links. Maybe. Maybe I'll have a sound effect or something. I mean, people seem to dig it when there wasn't. So why not? Why why mess with what works? Don't fix what ain't broke. That kind of thing. Quite.